Good morning guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another foundation review. Today's foundation review is going to be for the Giorgio Armani. Lasting Silk UV Foundation Sunscreen. Uh, I'm not sure why it says Lasting Silk because it says to reapply at least every two hours. I suppose that is for the sunscreen benefits because it does have an SPF of 20. I got this in the shade 5.5 uh, thanks to my friend Aunt for getting this for my birthday. Um, yeah, so before I begin, I just want to say I did my morning routine beforehand. So. I had a lot of serums and my face looked shiny, but overall uh, my skin background is combo and dry, combo dry skin, so yeah. What I found really strange about the packaging, it says that, where is it? Okay, so it says to reapply every two hours, so it's not going to be a long wearing uh, foundation. Use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. Children under 6 months of age ask a doctor, so uh, yeah, that was kind of strange. I don't know like why young kids would be wearing foundation, but here it goes. Here is the um, bottle. It's in this frosted glass with this black top. And it's very sleek and pretty. It actually says the expiration date on the bottom as well, so you don't have to like try to remember when you bought it and how long you should get rid of it. So it comes with this pump. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up. I'm gonna pump it on my hand. There's no like initial smell that I can fragrance that I can smell. Come on, bud. So I'm gonna do one side of my face first, so you can see the coverage and um. It does have like a white cast to it because of the sunscreen properties, but it should. Blend out. So right off the bat, I do notice that it will give like that white cast of a sunscreen, but hopefully it goes away um, after kind of like oxidize or like you know as time goes by. Um, this is a very nice finish. It's like a it's like the name of the product, it's silky and it feels very lightweight. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. It blends very easily as well. And it's not sticking to any of my um, dry patches. Okay, now I know why it's $62 for one flow ounce. But I mean, just look at it. It's so like dewy. It looks so good. But yes, I love the finish. I really love the finish. It's, it's amazing. It's very lightweight, like I said earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on. I'll check back in with you guys. Alright guys, so my makeup is all on now, and I have to say that it is really good. When I was applying the blush, it didn't have any weird, like, it's too early to say, but it might be my holy grail foundation. Um, yeah, so right now, it, right now it's 10.33. I'm going to dim sum and just, you know hanging outside, so we'll see how it does in the humid weather of Texas. Alright guys, so I did notice my skin was looking a little bit shiny on camera, like here and on my forehead. So I put a little bit of powder on there, like setting powder, 
um, just to kind of like turn it down. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to head out for dim sum and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Um, stay tuned. I really like it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Q. I'm checking back at 2.30. It's been four hours and my blush is like all still here. And I've been touching my nose a lot. So it's like coming off like right here is like red. Like my forehead is good. My cheeks are good. Um, yeah, so that's the status of it. Um, I went to eat dim sum and it was actually like really humid outside because it was raining and so I'm pretty impressed with that my blush is still there so yeah that's really good um yeah hey guys I'm back at three o'clock right now and it's been about four and a half hours and all my makeup is still here especially my blush um uh, it did a really good job even though it doesn't say that it's long wearing it doesn't say it's long wearing it just says lasting so I think this is a pretty good foundation um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off now let me know what you guys think of this Giorgio Armani foundation I think it's really worth the extra money but um, overall I think this foundation is a very very nice full coverage great finish foundation um, as you can see that it's like kind of gives me a shine on my forehead and on my nose and here because I didn't um, do any touch-ups like I didn't use any powder to touch up so yeah I can see why it is on the luxury brand but personally um, I don't think I would buy this myself just because it's so expensive and I can't justify myself buying a $62 bottle of foundation if you know what I mean. But I'm so glad I got this as a gift. Thank you so much, Aunt. Um, if you guys have tried this foundation and if you liked it, loved it, let me know. I'd love to talk to you about it. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Stand by me, 날 바라봐줘 아직 사랑을 못